Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to configure the settings. And we're going to start the process by going to our avatar. Then we're going to go and click the settings link. You're going to actually see some overlap between the settings links and some of the things that you have seen before in the menu, such as your name, initials, and bio, your avatar, password, email, and changing the language. And all of those are things that you can actually do from your profile menu. Now, one thing that you can do is you can add an email address just in case you need a recovery email address or you want to operate from another email address. And for in this case, we're going to go ahead and add in a second address. Trello is then going to send a confirmation email and then you'll need to click that email to make your new email address active. You'll get the new email address in your inbox, then you'll need to click and confirm the email address. Once you've done that, you'll have a second email address. You can set one of those email addresses as your primary email address. Now, the reason that the primary email address is going to be important is because you're going to be getting emails depending on how frequently you set them from Trello. When you have a specific project, you're going to want to change this based on how frequently or how often you want to get emails. So, for example, if we click this link, you're going to be given some choices. You can determine that Trello will never send you emails. You can have them sent approximately one per hour, or you can have them sent instantly as soon as they occur. So whichever really fits the project that you're working on, you're going to want to choose one. If you don't work on any particular projects, you can actually choose never until you are. Now, the other thing that Trello will do to let you know that there's activity on your account is to allow you to have desktop notifications You'll need to choose to allow this to happen inside of your browser once you click that link. If you don't want it to happen, all you'll need to do is to just click this X out. Trello has a colorblind friendly mode with more colorful icons, and then you'll come into the application section. Now, if you have given a particular application through PowerUps some access to your account, you can actually decide that that application is not going to have further activity with your account, and you can click the revoke button. Now, it doesn't mean that you won't be able to come back and then reestablish it, but it'll just mean that currently you're not giving this application any access to your Trello account. Lastly, you'll be able to tell when and where you logged in. For example, if someone else is logging into your account, which is unlikely, you'll be able to tell by what IP address they're actually using. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.